Home visit for the newborn. Home visits in the week after birth are a key intervention to protect the health of young babies. Visits by a health worker in this vulnerable time can find problems, support the mother and family, and teach them how to identify newborn problems early. See them three times, the day of birth, day three, and day seven. This video will show important features of a home visit focusing on care and assessment of the newborn. Bring a weighing scale, soap, a thermometer, a timepiece, and danger sign visual aids. Wash your hands. Remind family members to also wash their hands before handling the baby. First, gather important background information. Are there any concerns about the baby or the mother? Were there any problems with the labor or birth? How was the cord cared for? Throughout the visit, talk with the family about how to care for and protect their young baby, especially feeding, warmth, and protecting the baby from infection. First, observe the baby feeding. A baby who is feeding well is doing well. Look for signs of good attachment and effective suckling. Guide the mother if the baby is not well attached. It's important to feed the baby only breast milk for the first six months. Breastfeeding as much and as often as the baby wants will help the mother make plenty of milk. The frequency of stools and change in color from black to yellow in the first week is a good sign of whether a young baby is feeding well. If black stools are still seen on day four, the baby is not getting enough milk. Tell the mother to bring the baby if he does not feed well. Now, examine the baby. As you check her, teach the family the danger signs. Advise them to bring the baby to the clinic right away if any occur. Notice the baby is alert and active. Bring the baby if he has reduced movement especially if he only moves when stimulated or doesn't move at all. Ask the mother if she's noticed any abnormal movements in her young baby. Show her examples of convulsions. Some are obvious. The baby may jerk his arms and legs repeatedly. Some convulsions are subtle. The baby may stare to the side or have unusual mouth movements. Advise the mother to bring the baby if they notice any unusual movements. Teach the mother to feel the baby's feet and belly to check his body temperature. Bring the baby if he feels too cold or too hot. Tell her it's important to keep the young baby warm. Advise her to keep a hat on the baby's head and an extra layer of clothing. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is best. The baby's eyes are clear. Bring the baby to the clinic if his eyes have redness, swelling, or discharge. baby is breathing normally. Show her an example of a baby with a breathing problem. Tell her to bring the baby if he breathes too fast or the lower chest sucks in with each breath. The 
cord is clean and dry. Advise her not to put anything on the cord and to keep it open to air. Bring the baby with any redness, swelling or discharge. Check the baby's skin. Recommend to bring him if he has pustules or a rash. Take the baby into good daylight to check for jaundice. Advise her to bring the baby if he looks yellow, especially on the palms and soles. Weigh the baby on the day of birth. A baby weighing less than 1,500 grams is at higher risk of problems such as infection, feeding problems, and getting cold. Extra home visits may be needed to check on the baby and support the mother. Let the mother and family know how well they are caring for their newborn. Remember, do a home visit on day one, day three, and day seven. Check the baby for each sign of illness. Not feeding well, reduced movement, convulsions, too cold, too hot, trouble breathing, very low weight, jaundice, or infection of the cord, skin, or eyes. Show and tell the family about each sign and advise them to seek care right away, day or night, if any sign occurs.